masters of religion. It depends on what religion you're preaching. Remember, dear brother, man is that he might have joy. Come now. And so, of all the places on earth, God brought his servants first to Preston, with its bustling cotton mills and narrow streets filled with England's finest workers. A That's a good question, Arthur. And it's because John the Baptist has brought the authority to baptize back to the earth. You what? <laughs> Is that the nonsense that's been filling your head? Father, I desire this true baptism, and I hope it shall be with your consent. Oh, well, you may grow old waiting for it, love. You're a man who speaks his mind, Mr. Ashton. Well, I don't think the read of Jesus beating about the bush now, do we, Mr. Kimball? True. And he, too, was often accused of preaching nonsense. Right. Very well. I'm no bigot. I'll give a fair adherent to our Sarah's disaster. Now then, Mr. Kimball, when are, when are these baptisms to start? Hey, best not keep the crowds waiting. You're right, Mr. Ashton. I hope we meet again. Perhaps we will. Ellie. Peter, ah, anyway. So, I tells the foreman, I shall be baptised, sir, whether I lose my job or no. Or my name is not Twizzleton Turley. And what did he say? He fired my husband on the spot. On the spot? But later that night, when we met with the elders, who should come to meet him but that very foreman's wife. His wife? His wife? What happened? Well, next day, George, I presented myself at work. Like right, David, stepping up to the line. And asked for me job back. I was ever so proud. And he gave me a job back, even though he knew you were being baptised today. He did. God honours those that honour him. And I said, I have to be baptised on the grounds that these men work hold of God. And I now know it for myself. As do I, Brother Tilly. As do I. Brothers and sisters. And now you follow his example of being baptized by one who has authority that his spirit may be poured out upon you. Is this the desire of your hearts? It most certainly isn't. I can't wait another moment. Brother Kimball, I shall be the first. Oh, uh, not so fast, lad. If desire hath wings, I'll fly to the river's edge. Oh, I think so. I think so. Let 
the brethren depart to go over the great water, and there promulgate my gospel, the fullness thereof, and bear record of my name. And so the body of Christ's apostles came, unprecedented even in biblical history, to serve here in Great Britain. And what did they find? Well, in England, they found the spark of faith, ready to be kindled in the hearts of thousands, even tens of thousands. From Lancashire, the apostles headed south to London and Herefordshire, finding the field white and ready for harvest. Mr. Wilbur, are you the answer to our prayers then? That depends what you've been praying for. For Christ's true gospel, sir. Well, Mr. Benbow, your prayers have been answered. Sisters, you of the United Brethren have prayed for Christ. Mr. Woodruff, as constable, we have been sent by the rector of this parish with a warrant for your arrest. For what crime? For preaching sedition to the people. I have an authorized license to preach, sir, and I can assure you it is not sedition. But if you would care to wait, I would be happy to attend you after the meeting. Very well. As Elder Woodruff spoke, the power of the Lord clearly rested upon us, and the Spirit filled the house. After he was finished, many asked to be baptized. Mr. Woodruff, that is the only true gospel sermon I've heard in my life. If the rector wishes you taken for preaching the gospel, he'll have to serve the rate himself. I too would like to be baptized. In the cause of Jesus Christ, we all have to give up something. That is how we give ourselves to God. Well, I'm giving up my friends now. And I hope he knows that I have a lot of them. He does. And whatever you offer to him, he will give back tenfold. Tenfold? Mm -hmm. I have thirteen friends. Multiply by ten? That's hundred and thirty. Father? Yes. How's it going with sales? <laughs> <laughs> keep his family together and he he wants the same for me but he does i know he does how oh, kimble did you hear mr ashton's coming to america with us and he's going to help me look after these here seeds is he ah wonderful but he's still got a lot needs answering ah don't we all for now arthur just tend to the seeds of your faith as carefully as you tend to the seats on the boat as carefully 
contempt to your own precious children. <laughs> I'll do that. We'll see you on board then, matey. Uh, but there still is one concern I have about going to America, Elder Kimball. And what's that? It's full of Americans. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Lord does ask much of his children, huh? Evidently. <laughs> Let me help you with this. <laughs> Come. Ah! 